Welcome back, everybody. We are going to be locking down a movie review today. That's right. We are reviewing movies now on this channel. Why not, I figure. Not all the time, not always. Only when I get a chance and I feel like I want to talk about one. And Hellboy uh, was a movie that I was excited to see and got to see over the past weekend here. So I figure we'll talk about it and I'll give you my thoughts. So I'll say this. The movie was basically broken into three parts, uh, the middle being the best part. So the story was just okay, so it felt like they, they combined three different storylines in the film, The Wild Hunt, The Blood Queen, and maybe a mix of like one other one. It just didn't feel as conducive as I, I would have liked. It could have been a lot stronger, I think. So basically the best part of the film was like right at the tail end of where the wild hunt was uh, through the whole middle of the film, uh, right before the last, the third act. Hellboy was okay. He uh, he was better in like the quieter moments uh, when he be could become more of a character. But during fights and in action sequences, uh, the Hellboy aspects just didn't really flow very naturally. They didn't come out as prominently as I feel like they should have. Hellboy himself was just kind of whiny as well. They didn't let him shine as far as strength goes. He got beat up a ton, which is fine for your character to get beat up, but they didn't like really let him shine when there was moments where he was like putting up a good fight and they were trying to have someone like come rescue him, even though like he didn't need to get rescued. Just let him fight and show off his strength a little bit. They, he ne they never quite got him there. The look of Hellboy was fine still. Yeah, I, I like how he uh, looked like Hellboy for the most part. I, I'm really just nitpicking. I didn't like like the scraggly hair, the longer hair. I think just keep it how it was in the comics and the original films would have been better. I think his uh, fist, his right hand of doom, was stronger in the original films. This one just felt a little bit tacked on. It felt big and ginormous but to the extent that it didn't feel like a part of his hand you know with comics you can get away with exaggerating body parts and things and it, it'll look fine and one of the things that the original films did well was they exaggerated the hand but the, it wasn't overly exaggerated enough to where it didn't look natural it was big but it wasn't too big and it felt like it was still a part of his arm in this newer film, it just uh, felt a little bit too disproportionate. Alice Monaghan, uh, the, the character of Alice, was a decent character. I, I felt like uh, they rushed some of her development, but she was overall pretty good part of the film, and I enjoyed it. Catman was just all right. You know, I don't even I don't even remember his name. He was just all right. The actor that played Hellboy's dad, uh, Ian McShane, you know him. He's been in a ton recently. He's in the series American Gods. I love this actor. He's a great actor. I think uh, he does great in everything he was in. This one just felt phoned in. Uh, <laughs> you know, this was just a paycheck for him. You could tell. And my gosh, I mean, he talks with a kind of slurry voice accent anyways to begin with but in this film it literally felt like he was drunk half the time on the film he he had a narration in the beginning of the film that you could barely understand it literally just sounded like he was flat out drunk when he did the lines for that opening scene so it you know you could tell it's just a paycheck for him which was kind of disappointing but the blood queen i like mila as an actress but i felt like she was pretty forgettable yeah i just didn't think she did a great job baba yaga was great she was creepy. She looked very creepy. She uh, moved creepily. And, you know, they did pretty much all practical effects for her, uh, minus maybe a few things. They did a great job with the scene she was in. It, it was good. I, I feel like she should have just been the main villain. You know, she, she had a good amount of screen time, but there you got interested in her character and the involvement she had in it. And it almost seemed like she just needed to be the main villain and uh, make her the big baddie. She had a much more interesting um, effect on the story than I think the Blood Queen did at the end of the day. Lobster Johnson was great. I thought he was great. They got the freaking guy from uh, the villain from George of the Jungle. I forget his name, the actor's name, but it was a great uh, casting choice. I thought he was hilarious and a good. he was great overall. So the CGI in this was not very good. Uh, it looked pretty fake in uh, a lot of parts, especially like at the end. There was one part that basically looked like uh, Will Smith's face on the genie that everybody was memeing about a month ago. Uh, that's kind of how bad it was. 
Uh, practical effects, on the other hand, looked pretty good. I, I like the practical effects they used. They did a good job with them. It very, it very much had the Del Toro aspects to it that we've all come to enjoy from the previous Hellboy franchise. I was so disappointed in the CGI. It just looks like it's going to get dated really fast. Uh, it was just so lackluster and unimpressive to me. Uh, honestly, there was just some aspects of it that just didn't look that great. Meshing of the CGI with the practical effects were okay. Uh, like with the boar and stuff like that, I, I think it, it worked somewhat. Uh, and at the end of the film, there were some really cool CGI monster designs that were very Del Toro-esque uh, that looked pretty cool as far as the designs go. Uh, but as far as CGI and the rest of the stuff they did with the film with the CGI, it just uh, just fell flat for me, honestly. The cuts in this movie and the editing was very, very obviously j jarring and rough. Uh, it, it, so much so that it pulled you out of the film in certain parts. There was parts where lighting was shifted from when they were cutting between CGI and like the next shot and things where they were trying to meld together the two shots and it, they would cut and edit and it was just rough overall or there were other dialogue scenes that would just be very jarring cuts that just didn't work. The last act of this film was not strong at all. It lacked the epicness of what they were trying to go for and do but it just didn't come through as potently on the screen uh like if you remember in the original hellboy movies with ron perlman there was a lot of epic stuff that happened in the climax of that film and it just worked really well there was the emotion behind it the epicness behind it this one just didn't really manage to pull that off so the movie itself at the end of the day was just broken it wasn't good i wasn't impressed i think there were some good things uh, that they were trying to do with certain characters. I wanted to see more of Baba Yaga and those type of things, but the movie itself just wasn't conducive enough to what we were looking for in a Hellboy film. You know, the Del Toro films, the second movie, it was funny and cheesy as hell, but, you know, I have really good memories laughing with my friends and talking about that film even to this day, even though it wasn't that great, and the first film was fantastic. But, uh, you know, the second film even still did better because it kind of just played into the cheesiness and the funniness of it. You know, whereas this one, you can't even say it was too cheesy or not. It was just trying really hard to be something and it just didn't get there. I don't have a rating system yet and I don't know if I should come up with one. So I'm just going to use the standard uh, five star rating. I'd have to give this film like a one and a half out of five stars just for like... Some of the stuff was okay, and Baba Yaga was pretty good, but the rest of it, just a pass. I think we knew that this was coming when we saw the new Hellboy trailer. Any Hellboy fan out there was uh, excited when we saw the trailer come out. We said, yes, more Hellboy. This looks, uh, this is going to be great. We, you know, as fans, we all got gypped from the trilogy that was Del Toro's work. And we all wanted this one to be good, but I think when we all saw the trailer, we all, in the back of our mind, just knew it wasn't going to be up to Del Toro's work, the level that Del Toro's work was at. And unfortunately, it wasn't, and it was very, very much less uh, than Del Toro's work, in my opinion. It had some good ideas, it just, it just wasn't that well done. Anyways, that's my review of Hellboy, uh, so if you enjoyed the movie review and you want to see more i did watch a couple other movies i watched shazam i watched captain marvel we've got avengers endgame coming up if you want to see more movie reviews let me know in the comments below leave on the like leave on the like leave a like on the video and let me know if you want to see more movie reviews and maybe we'll do some more in the future here until then we'll see you guys in the next video